hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are continuing our vb.net project and now we are going to do about how to update the data into our database okay so guys as we saw in previous video we have searched the data and we will be editing it and updating the data so guys first step let us copy this button and paste again and now let's rename this so let's go to its until update data okay this will be the update data button so to edit the data you can just call this as search button okay so i'll just show you what is the edit method so let us just start this project login email.com one two three four five six login now okay user you can see that i am going to edit with one so user id one search now you can edit the data with om prakash so you can edit now let us update the data so when you click on this to update the data that time your data should get updated right so for that let's code so let's close this and yes guys stop your project and now click on this update data not data will give update user let us double click on this button update user so we are on the button three click now let us code it so first you need to import the class of your sql client okay so please import that and then start the code to update the record so first step guys you need to give the variable names so dim connection variable as new sql connection and then command variable as new sql command and then let's give the connection string connection string is equal to double quotes and my connection string you can click on your database and go to its property and get the connection string from here copy and paste paste and now let's remove that extra thing so just remove that extra double quotes and open the connection connection dot close function as simple and now guys let us write the condition if the, it is null you need to show this else and if okay we need to get then over here now guys first what it is null we want to check this if condition first name last name so this is first name last name gender phone you can see this property names so all these fields you need to check over here so let me just check with that first name dot text is equal to null so the same way and give or operator and then again last name is equal to null or operator then gender dot text not this last name you need to add dot text okay is equal to then phone or phone dot text is equal to null or after that gender phone and then email password user type let's call that email dot text is equal to null or password dot text is equal to null and then or user type dot text is equal to null so if these fields are null you need to show the message let's use this message box dot show function and inside this function you need to type please enter all fields okay save and now guys let's go to else condition if all the record exist into your text box then you need to code that so let's create one statement variable so what 
you need to do is that copy this and dim statement as string that's it so this is my statement variable created and now let's give the query or database or sql query to update that data let's type update the table name is user over here users where set the column names so i'm not going to take id because it is primary so just ignore that and start with the column name so i'm going to take f name is equal to inside single quotes double quotes let's remove that and use and operator two times and call your input field names so my first name over here text box name dot text okay so this is nothing but your text box name so same way call for all fields so let me just let's give comma give space no space and tell last sorry l name we need to call this db i mean column name of your database i mean we need to last name so this l name is nothing but your user column name okay so let's call that is equal to single quotes inside the single double and operator and then call your text box name dot text as simple done so same way let us give again comma copy paste type gender gender paste phone the input box name phone paste after phone is email column name and the text box name email and then password table column name is password and the text box name is password dot txt and then final one user type let's paste that and remove this last column over here and tell user type save this user type dot txt and there is no call comma or anything it's just ending with the double quote at the last now give the where condition over here so where column name id id is equal to inside single quotes inside double quotes and use that and operator and then call the id so what id you are going to get is that this id okay so this property name is search user id so let us type that over here search is user id dot txt okay save this so this is the most important thing in our update code okay let's save and now hit enter and now let's run this above statement so let's create one variable command with the new sql command function where you are going to call this statement and then your connection string what you have created over here okay so let's after this let's execute that query non query save and now let's use the message box to display the message message box function where record updated successfully with the message box style msg box tyl list style dot information with success let's save and after this showing the message i want to clear all this input fields except this two combo box let's get back let's call those fields name or text box name dot clear function let me just copy this clear function with the dot last name paste and then phone paste and then the email paste and password dot paste okay save this so guys now let us test it let's come to this form start the project 
go to admin login gmail.com one two three four five six login okay go to user and over here let us search the user id 2 search you can see om prakash new let me just update with the om prakash let's click on update button you can see record updated successfully okay done and now over here you need to check one condition if there is no id that time if you click update what will happen so there is no id right so let's give a code for that a simple code just include this text box into your if condition so let's go back just add at the beginning this text box name okay let me just copy this text box name give in above condition if search id is equal to null let's use this message box please enter user id okay and give else cut this and paste add this condition okay let's save it you can see it's very clear so guys there is nothing much in this i have just added a simple if condition to check that if there is no id inserted over there let's test again three four five six login now go to user and now over here let's click on update please enter user id okay so let's enter some user id search that user id and then let us update the data for this okay so guys now i want to update is this ohm as ohm new data okay so let's update this update user record updated successfully let's click ok and all the data has cleared so let's search this again you can see ohm new data let us search with the id 1 let's click on search you can see the data as with prakash over here let's search with the 4 user you can see this admin let's search with the 3 again and let's update this narendra gauda to narendra brother update the user record updated let's search again user id 3 you can see narendra brother it's updated so guys we have successfully done how to update the data into a database by id in vb.net so guys let's see in next video about how to delete this data from this database so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share